Hello, everyone. My name is Xiang. I'm an application engineer in Power Product Division at Texas Instrument. Today, I'm going to uh, I'm going to talk about designing a fly bug converter using the latest TI LM5160 bug regulator. So, as you know, in many industrial applications, isolated power supply is always needed for safety concern or other um, noise insulation requirements. Uh, like in factory automation and programmable logic controller, um, they always need uh, multiple isolated outputs, uh, voltage outputs. So what is a flybug converter? Let's look at the topology first. The flybug is developed from a traditional bug regulator by plus, plus um, flyback like secondary side. So by changing the box inductor into a transformer, we can get isolated output from the bug converter. And we call this topology flybug. The flybug converter has the advantage of primary side regulation, so it doesn't need optocoupler to, uh, to regulate the secondary side. And you can achieve a compact size and easy to design uh, isolated power supply solution. So for the flybug regulator family, the LM5160 is the latest addition to TI's flybug regulator family. It uh, increased the output current capability to 1.5 amp and still has the 4.5 to 65 YV in range. On the right side, you can see by increasing the current capability, the flybug converter using LM5160 can have a huge increase on the output power level, and it can achieve 15 watts power. Now let me give you a design example of the flybug power supply in the PLC applications. So for this case, we want to use the LM5160 flybug to create a three isolated output supply. For the PLC application, you usually have a 24 volts uh, DCV in from the backplane power supply. And there will be three isolated output, the plus five volts at one amp to power the microcontroller, which usually require higher current. And then the plus 15 volts and negative 15 volts, 200 milliamp supply to bias the op amp in the PLC. For this design specification, we want to achieve 5% regulation target and have the V in uh, variation r range around 19 volts to 30 volts. So let's look at the reference design board. Okay, so this is the LM5160 flybug reference design board. This is the LM5160 IC, and on this side of the board, it's the primary side, the non isolated side. So you will take the 24 volts V in here and create a primary side output here. Through the transformer, it will create three isolated output on the secondary side. So there is the 5 volts at 1 amp output and the plus 15 volts and the negative 15 volts at 200 milliamp output. So in designing this reference design board, um, first of all, we need to uh, determine the primary side um, outputs for the good regulation, to achieve good regulation, we need to have a duty cycle less than 50%. So we need to set the primary side output less than half of the minimum V in. And after setting the primary side output, we can determine the turns ratio uh, as the secondary side output um, divided by the primary side outputs. And for the flybar converter to achieve good regulation, it's critical to have a good transformer design. For, trans for the transformer, it's important to minimize the leakage inductance. For flybar converter, we recommend uh, within 2% leakage inductance to the uh, winding inductance. And also, it's important to keep the DCR winding, uh, winding DCR small, because the DCR winding will create voltage, additional voltage drop from the winding uh, voltage to the actual outputs. Uh, also, 
for the flybug design, it's very important uh, of the selection of the dials, rectifier dial. The dial need to have high enough uh, blocking voltage. This voltage can be calculated as the tense ratio times the maximum V in. And also, the dial need to have high enough current capability. And the dial need to have to minimize its forward voltage drop, which also affecting uh, factor to the regulations. So by doing all this, keep keeping all this in mind, we can achieve a good performance out of the flybug design. So let's look at the performance data. For the output regulation, as you can see on the left side, the 5 volts output, um, it's m tested at 24 volts input. And by varying the load from 0 to 1 amp full load, and at different, uh, and the plus minus 15 volts at different low level, as you can see, the overall regulation is still within the 5% uh, target. And on the right side, it's the 15 volts output regulation at the balanced load, which means uh, all the three outputs, it's set at the same percentage of the uh, output current. And it's tested under different V in. As you can see, the variation is still uh, within 5% uh, target. And here's the power efficiency. As you can see, it's tested under balanced low and at different V in level. And we can achieve 87% highest uh, the peak efficiency. So today I give you a brief introduction of this PLC design and uh, some key points in um, designing a flybug converter. For more detailed information, you can always visit ti.com slash flybug. Thanks for watching.